So we've got an image that we want to add to a page using CMS Made Simple. Let's have a look and see how we do that. This is our live site here and we want an image on the page at the top here. I've already logged in to CMS Made Simple as you can see and I've gone to Content Pages and then I've clicked on the page that uh, we're looking at. So we can see the text of the page here and we want the image at the top so I've clicked my uh, so that my insertion point is uh, at the very top of this uh, section here and that's where we're going to put the image now what we do next is click on the image icon which is this icon here insert edit image when you click on that you get a little pop-up and it says image URL so it's looking for the address of the image. Now we haven't uploaded it yet to the website, it's still sitting on my local system. Uh, so the way we update it, upload it to the website is clicking on this browse button on the right hand side here. When I click on that another pop-up comes up and it shows me um, the structure of the website. Now your one will be different to this uh, but in this case you can see that we have some folders and one of them is classes. I'm going to go into there by clicking and then uh, we're doing the page for the RENS class so I'm going to click on RENS. So I found the location for the place that I want to put the image and it's quite important to keep uh, your um, folder structure quite sensible and uh, well ordered because obviously the more images you upload the messier it can become. So we're in Classes Rens and I want to click on this button here, Choose File. And when I do that, the uh, dialog box opens uh, and I can see the folders and files on my own system. And I can navigate to the right folder. I happen to be in the right folder, it's on my desktop, uh, because the image that I want to upload is this one called Ren. I click on there and I choose Open. And insert Ren into there and then I click upload and that uploads the file from my local system to the website and you can see here file successfully uploaded and in fact you can now see the little thumbnail of the image that we uploaded so that's confirmed that it's uploaded okay so we want to select that image and I do that by simply clicking on it like so and as you can see the image is now inserted into this small preview window of the previous pop-up and it's inserted this text here. That's all fine so I want to do insert now and as you can see the picture has been inserted. I'm going to press apply so that we can see what change that has made to the website. Now I click on the live link live website uh, tab and then I do a refresh and you can see that it's added the image we're nearly there but what I really want is my text to come up here and start here rather than um, at the bottom and that's quite easy to do if we go back to the edit area and then click once on the image so that it's highlighted and you'll see that this then um, clicks the uh, button up here so if I click the insert edit image button here we we'll go back to the same uh, screen that we were in and you'll notice there's a little tab for appearance if you click on that um, you then get lots of different options and one of them is alignment and it shows you a little preview of what it's going to look like here so if I click on this alignment drop down there are various options and if I choose left you'll see what happens the image sticks to the left hand side if you like and then the text starts from the top which is exactly what we want so I do update and then although we've updated it in this screen here we still need to apply the changes so if I click on apply and then go back to the live site and refresh again you should see 
the text moves up to the top and it does there. Right, now that's almost perfect but what I want is a little bit more space in between the photo and the text. That's easy too. If we go back to the edit screen, click once to highlight the image, click on insert edit image and click on appearance again and one of the other options is some spacing so it says here horizontal space it's in pixels and about 20 pixels is about what I want so I type in 20 and do update and it's put some space in between the um, image and the other elements if I click on apply again and then refresh again you should see yeah it's spaced it out a little bit more so that's giving you a quick overview of how to insert an image and how to do some basic um, adjustments to the look and feel of it. hope that's been helpful.